What's up, Solo Sportsters? If it's your first time here, welcome. We are Solo Sports. We are a team of racket technicians, as you can see here, from many tournaments and working with high-end players. And we want to share some tips with you. If you're coming back, thanks for joining us. And we're coming to you today from our headquarters here at the US Open in Flushing, Queens, to show you a little trick with stringing. Not many stringers know it. It's a great tip to increase that quality. And it's a clamp trick, so stay tuned. So I've just finished up one of my rackets here. We did a one-piece stringing, which we typically do. We prefer that, but it does also work for two-piece stringing. And I'm at my final knot here at the bottom of the racket. And I'm going to cinch it with what I like to use as cam action pliers, but it works if you use a starting clamp or any other tool. And I'm going to cinch up my knot here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold pressure in my arm, which is very important, on the clamp, moderate amount of pressure. And I'm going to release the far clamp, bottom to top as always, and then release the near clamp, bottom to top. And what that does is that's feeding any slack that's possible uh, proportionately into the racket. And it's not allowing any of the slippage from the knot to sneak back into the racket, reduce the tension, and give you an imperfection. So that's our tip. Make sure you're using your cam action pliers or knot tools to hold the knot while making a knot and also to release the far clamp first then the near clamp. If you're doing just one clamp, say at the start of the racket, you only have to release that one, but definitely hold on to that extra bit of string so that doesn't feed back into the racket. And we're gonna show it to you from another view right now. From the second view, you can see that with holding pressure on the knot here, I'm not holding super strong. I am resting on the machine, so I'm not putting stress on my wrist. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the base then the top of the far clamp, freeing up this string. Then I'm gonna release the base on the top of the near clamp, letting everything sit in. And by holding the pressure, none of this string slides back into the racket to lower my tension or to give me any imperfection on my stringing. We're going to be recommending some more stringing tips for you, so stay tuned. You can click on them on either of the corners. We're helping you become a better stringer and getting better quality products for yourself, your players, your clients, whoever. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions, comment below. We take the time to answer all the questions and we want to use our knowledge on tour with the pros to help you with your racket needs.